Hello, it is I, Sir Davinov Kang, and in this video we are going to predict the Next Step Series 8. Uh, for once, I'm not going to use Doctor Who as a, a crossover with Doctor Who as an excuse for a plot. Um, I won't mention um, any other source, uh, media. So it will just be a next step crossover. This is from a storyline perspective. This is not from a uh, dance perspective. So this is how the story would play out. I'll let everyone else write the rest. So at the start of the series, Kenzie and Lily leave to audition for the next season of Dance Mania as foretold by the What If timeline that the monk created. So if you want to know more about this, see my Steps in Time video for details. I kind of lied when I said um, I won't use other con other shows, but I suppose the... Okay, so if you don't need the monkeys, the monks are running a time lord from Doctor Who messes up history all the time, uh, that Chris Gemmell just refuses to acknowledge. Anywho, um, so, in the What If timeline, Lily and Kenzie are eliminated from Dance Mania, but in this, uh, they don't fail, they win. However, in Next Step Tradition, either two new A Troopers will join, or two B Troopers will join A Troop. Uh, this will leave Lily and Kenzie to fall out, and at the end, Kenzie goes back to A Troop, and then has a kiss with Kingston. Lilston fans will be completely. Lilston fans will be completely angry and. Yeah. But what does Lily do next? She travels with the eighth. No, she does not travel with Paul McGann in his TARDIS. Sorry, sorry, folks. Um. Plot number two. So this will be like season five all over again with dear God no more because I hated every moment of it. B A and B Troop will exchange shots, so they'll insult each other and have a dance off. So you get gets to go to nationals. But someone will have a choice because last season she was B Troop. So someone will be torn and ends up leaving the studio and going to Gemini. Traitor! Plot number three. Amy will be feeling guilty about letting someone leave the studio, and everyone will blame Nick for this. So the a the troopers rebel against Nick, playing the events of this series so far happen. So they bring someone who uses teamwork and who has worked in teams all around the world. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, and not from North Carolina, the AW and Impact World Champion. Oh yes, folks. The Cleaner, Kenny, Omega, and the Young Bucks. I hear the battle cry under the devil's sky. Pyro fireworks. So these guys will help with team building exercise to unite the troops, secure a place at nationals. It goes well, and Nick gets tickets to seeing AW live in Toronto. Um, okay, this will be the guest appearance. So you so the series has had people that no one even knows about. So I didn't know who any of the guest stars are. So it's time for someone that dance fans don't know about. Let's make Jim Cornette really happy, shall we? Plot number four. The dance battle arrives. So both troops battle it out. See who gets to go to nationals. Piper, Rochelle and Amy, aka the shield of the next step, will perform a trio and a troop, of course, win and get to go to nationals. However, some are spies on TNS and reports directly back to Gemini. Plot five, nationals has arrived. A troop arrive and ready to compete. On commentary is Chuck Anderson and Lucian. Yeah, remember him, the guy who ran elite, but then it got shut down. Yeah, I wonder what happened to him. So I knew, due to the pandemic, the audience will be socially distanced and wearing masks, as well as all the dance studios having to be in a bubble. They meet Gemini and the dance captain is Skylar. Writers, let me just highlight this for you.
Sorry, my writing's not good. So they, so the German I have actually acquired summer. Uh, so this causes trouble among every dancer. So Summer and Amy have a big argument that breaks down their friendship and they have a massive fight. Well, not fists fight. But if you want to see that, watch my ECW series. 16 plus for hardcore wrestling. Uh, anywho, plot number six. So the final is underway. It's TNS versus Gemini. All out for the regionals trophy. So after all the dancers have given their all, the winner is ready to be decided, and the winners are... No surprises here! The next step. Everyone is thrilled by the win, and the series ends with Gemini hugging their former friends. Lily turns up, then congratulates A Troop. The series ends with A Troop and Gemini hugging it out. But then, the lights go out! What's happening, everybody? What's going on? Then suddenly... I'll be calm, be calm, be calm, eh? Out walks Chris Jericho with his inner circle. Yes, my friends. This will mean that AEW will want a rematch with... And he wants a rematch with Miles Ehrlich after his defeat. And that's not all. MJF then shows up as well with the pinnacle. And then he roasts everyone on mic. Oh, and... Uh... Now, guys, I'm joking. That won't be the ending. Sorry, got a bit carried away there. So, anywho, final part. So, Nick returns to the neck TNS. He finds that Ella, remember her, turns up and it's real that Ella is Nick's sister. And that she's come back to Canada to be co-studio heads with her brother and watch over him. So Nick did mention having a sister and I think that it's Ella. Like it's got to be Ella. Because, um, you know, it has to be Nick. Nick and Ella's brother and sister. Um, so that ends this slideshow. So, what are your predictions for season eight? Please jot them down in the comments below. Um, I just thank you very much all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.